YouTube, this is Zombie Kangaroo here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to get the GPS phone emulator on the iPod Touch 2G um, from Cydia for free uh, without using any donate tricks or anything like that, because I know there's a lot of tricks where you know you go to donate and hit free and then install, and they took that away and you have to purchase from Cydia now. So um, for more on that, go back into my last iPod video. But a few things I want to tell you before this actual video start is um this does involve SSHing into your iPod um, and then just putting the actual file in there. Uh, and then things you'll need before you download is there's a download to the right. Um, that is a little handy file that I made for uh, for this little tutorial. Um, just extract it once you download it. It's in a zip folder. Extract it. And then inside of it, you will find these files right here. Okay? So, and then on your iPod Touch, you will, I already downloaded these, and you will need a app called Mobile Terminal, which is available in Cydia. Mobile Terminal, I'll put that in the description to the right as well. And Respring. Now, you will not need those two if you're running on the first generation, but for second generation, you will need those two. Okay, so SSH into your iPod. Um, if you don't know how to SSH, just look up tutorials, there's like a thousand of them, but for, if for some reason you can't find any, it's okay, just leave a comment in the description and I'll put a video up on how to SSH into your iPod. Um, okay, so you wanna go to your private bar, in your SSH iPod, and then you want to go to Stash, and then into Applications, and then here you should see a list of folders with the applications in it. So then you want to go to where you saved my folder to, which I saved mine to my desktop, and go into it and find the GPS Phone .app folder. Um, drag this whole, just click and drag over here into this folder and make sure, you know, down here in the open space so it doesn't actually go into one of the folders, like down here. Um, and then once it goes in there, the screen will come up and just hit copy. Um, I'm gonna not do this because, as you can see, I already have GPS phone app in here. Once you do that, double click into the GPS phone in here and you should see all these files. You then need to drag the GBA BIOS file, or BIOS file into here, once again making sure not to put it in any folders, and the screen will come up and hit copy again, I will not do this because it's already in here, right there, okay, and then go back up to your bar, and then go to mobile, media, and then in media, um, you need to down in open space, right click and hit new directory. And once this new directory come up, you're going to type in capital R-O-M, lowercase s. Once again, I will not do this because I already have it here. And then within, once you double click into that ROMs folder, you need to go to new directory, and then capital G-B-A. And then in that folder, this is where you put all your games, all your ROMs and your G-B-A ROMs. And then you need to be doing some commands. Um, the commands I uh, are actually in the file I put in there. I put all the commands in here. So what you need to do is, at least when I say P, you need to hit commands, open terminal. And then this may come up, depending on how your SSH is, and then hit OK. And go hit your password, which should be Alpine, unless you changed it. Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. But the first command you want to do is just copy the first line paste it into here, and hit execute, and then there's your first command. Then highlight the second line, copy, paste it into here, and hit execute. Finally, the third line, copy, paste, execute. Okay, so now there's three files executed, you can hit close. Okay, now we need to do something on the iPod. For 2G, if when you install or an app via SSH, it will not show up on your springboard. So what you need to do is use these two programs. Um, click on terminal, 
And then once again, if you bring up your commands window, you will see mobile terminal commands 2G users. And SU is the first line, Alpine is the second line, and Respring is the third line. So, SU return, and then it'll ask for the password. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's asking for the password. And then Alpine, A L P I N E. And then hit return. And then the last line will come up where you type in respring. And then hit return. And then it should respring. And. Scroll over here. We should have our GPS phone and all the games that I listed. So that is how to get the GPS phone for free. If you have any questions or comments or any trouble with this, feel free to comment. Um, if you want me to do an SSH tutorial or any other tutorials for that matter, please feel free to comment. And thanks for watching.